Why is this? Well, now that you can see this is a repeating pattern, we can go back to the beginning. And any number raised to the power of zero is one. So that is actually the first remainder, so it must also appear when the cycle starts again. Now we are ready to use a quantum computer to factor any large product of two primes. First, we split up the qubits into two sets. The first set we prepare in a superposition of 0, and 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and 5, and 6, and 7, and 8, and 9, all the way up to 10 to the power of 1,234. Yeah, this is a huge superposition, but if we had perfect qubits, it would require only around 4,100. Now we make our guess g, which most likely doesn't share factors with n. We raise g to the power of the first set of qubits, and then we divide by n and store the remainder in the second set of qubits, leaving the first set of qubits as it was. Now we have a superposition of all the numbers we started with, and the remainder of raising g to the power of those numbers divided by n. And through this operation, we have entangled our two sets of qubits.